Hey everyone, I hope all of you are well. This will be a quick tutorial on how to save a transparent EPS file in Photoshop. Now I'm using the latest 2024 Photoshop, so this may or may not apply to you depending on the version you're using. So let's get straight into it. This is what I'm working with today. Very simple, very, you know, basic rainbow. So ideally the first thing you want to do is grab a selection tool depending on which selection tool you're comfortable with so i've grabbed mine because of the because of this version of photoshop is very clever i can literally just select everything and then what it will do is it will actually individually select what i want for me if your photoshop doesn't do that you will have to go over each element and select what you want so from here, once everything's been selected, you right click, you go to make work path. Now, once you've done that, this hasn't bothered me. This, I haven't had to change this, so I press OK. So now you'll see literally the work paths that have been made on your design. Now, from here, what you want to do is go to paths. And then you want to go to the right hand corner where there's a little drop down menu and you want to go to save path. You can create the name, a name for it or leave it as it is. In my case, I'll leave it and I press OK. Then you want to go back to the same drop down menu and then go to clipping path. OK, again, I haven't had to do anything here. And yes, I'm choosing path one, so you press OK. Now, once that's done, you go to File. You can either go to Save As or Save a Copy. You'll have to save it as a copy anyway. So I'm going to show you what you'd do if you were to go to Save As. So you go to Save As, find the location of your folder and give, your, give it a name. So Rainbow 2024. You go to the format, but then you realize there's no EPS. So what you do is you go to save a copy just over here. Press save a copy and now a new tab comes up. Go to format and then you'll find many more options that were once available. So you press on Photoshop EPS and you save your file. And then from here, so ideally what you would see is this. But what you want to change, I, I normally keep the TIFF 8 bits the same. And I change this to binary. And then I press OK. So now let's open up Illustrator. Just to show you that my background has indeed been, um, or is transparent. So I go to Rainbow 24. And here I have it. I have my transparent rainbow that I want to use. Um, and there you have it. I really hope this has helped. If it has, please leave a comment, a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And maybe even have a look at some other videos that may be helpful to you. Thanks, guys.